and multiply by the complex conjugate, right? So first of all, if I have 3 minus 2i, you guys have to understand the complex conjugate. And remember, the complex conjugate is going to be our exact same conjugate, our exact same expression, except our imaginary term is now going to be positive. Okay. You're not going to reverse the signs on both terms, only you need to make sure that your imaginary unit is one's positive and one's negative, and that's it. Now, when multiplying this, I'm actually going to make this even more simple. When multiplying this, you guys should notice that this is in the form of a minus b times a plus b, right? Where a is the same and b is the same. And a minus b times a plus b is what we is part of what factoring technique? Well, difference of difference of two squares. So therefore, if I wanted to multiply this out, you can do FOIL, right? There's nothing wrong with doing FOIL, but you know that the middle terms are going to add up to zero. So I can just do a squared minus b squared. So what's a squared? Nine. What's b squared? Minus four i squared. But well, remember, for those of you that were not here last class, remember we went back and investigated that i squared represents negative 1. So therefore, negative 1 times negative 4 is going to be a positive 4. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. And that's your final.